Good day, you join me in Dobry city. This is in the top 10 largest cities in Bulgaria with a population of around 90,000 people. This city has a super large footprint with a lot of things to offer. Since it is Dobrich region's main city, it has all of the government buildings such as CAT and immigration offices. It has amazing transport infrastructure, huge shopping, amazing parks, and a lot more other small things. I'm exploring the city today and I gotta show you a few of these things. You might be thinking where to begin with the city and well, you're probably gonna arrive at the bus station. This is found only a few minutes from the natural fruit and veg market, the farmer's market as you might call it. And it's a really nice market, prices are reasonable and all the locals buy there. And from there you can make your way to the main pedestrianized area. It's only a few minute walk and this is where you're gonna begin. Come to think of it, if you do take the route that I'm mentioning, going from the bus station through the market towards the main pedestrianized area, you're gonna come across the open-air entographic museum. This open-air museum has a lot to offer from studios, art galleries, shops, leather, pottery, painting, anything you can imagine. It has cafes, restaurants, and it's a really nice vibe. It's super peaceful and beautiful. It would probably take you one to two hours to walk around and just enjoy it. However, you can definitely just walk through it in a few minutes and still get a vibe of what the city used to look like. One of the main highlights of it is the old clock tower and I'll show you that now. Looking back at some history, Dobrich was originally founded between the 4th and the 3rd century BC by the Romans. Since then, it has a rich history of different ownership from Soviet to Turkish to actually Bulgarian and the name of the city changed multiple times. For example, in the 14th century, it was named after its ruler, Dobrotista. Then, in the 16th century, it had mainly Turkish rule, at over 1,000 houses, hundreds of shops, three inns, three Turkish baths, 12 mosques, and 12 schools. In 1949, during the communist era, it was renamed to Talbukin. This name was after the famous figure. Then in 1990, it was renamed back to Dobrich. It holds this name to this day, and you find me here in the main pedestrian area now, and it's really nice. It's a really wide street, well, multiple streets, with so many shops from bakeries, cafes, restaurants, charity stores, banks, post offices, anything you can think of. If you need it done or need to buy something in Dobrich, this is the place where you can do it all in one place. It's super nice. I'm just walking around and, well, <laughs> enjoying the vibes. There are many reasons why Dabrich may have and has remained this popular 
throughout all these years, in my opinion, is because it has a really nice climate, roughly 1 degree Celsius in the winters and 30 degrees Celsius in the summers. And it's very well designed for pedestrians and cars. It has everything you can ever imagine from parks, communal spaces, shops, huge amount of benches, and it's just a really nice place to live. Its education is also really nice. It has a plethora of schools and colleges and everything you can imagine. So at this point of the video, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Michael, you showed me that Dobridge is a worthy travel destination and worth visiting. But why? Why do so many people actually live here and why is it so popular? Well, one is its setting. It's roughly 30 kilometers from the Black Sea. Then there's the fact that it's a modern agricultural, industrial, and transport center. There are so many raw materials here. The farming around the area is super huge as well, from wheat, corn, sunflowers, wine, anything. And aside from food, you have a lot of stuff like furniture, clothing, machinery, car parts, and it's very industrial, all things considered. It's quite unique. This is the Regional Department of the Interior, or in simpler English, it's a big government building where all of the important stuff takes place. So if you live in the area of Dobridge and you need your driving license renewed, you need your ID renewed, you need to apply for residency, you come here. It's a very important place. One thing that I really love about coming to this city is it's not all just go, go, go. There is enough place and enough time to relax. There is so much greenery and the benches, they're everywhere. The main highlight of this is Park of St. George. This park has a massive area of 430 DCA and separated into many different segments and sectors. There is parts for dogs, for kids. There is a rose garden and a lake, so much to do. There's also different fairs and festivals in this area. One really cool fact is that it's one of the oldest parks in all of Bulgaria. It was originally opened up in 1867. Yes, the 1800s. It's pretty ridiculous, but it's remarkable. I've been here a few times and I love it even more every single time. really cool thing about this park is there's a skate park in here and it's really popular with both cyclists and skaters as well as rollerbladers and you know scooter kids.
I hope that gave you some kind of insight into what you can actually expect to see here and how the city feels like. It's really, really nice and I could see myself moving here in the future. I'm ending the video here as I've shown you the most parts of the city. If you have any questions or any queries, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll get in touch with you. If there's any other Bulgarian cities that you'd like to see or me to show you around, please let me know too. Till next time.